the love in each other. Remember, love will always prevail against evil. Yeah. Let's go together. Love will always prevail against evil. Love will always prevail against evil. Actually, uh, was one of the first people that uh, probably saw Bruno that morning, and so he's uh, always been a special person to us. I mean, uh, we've we've done a lot of uh, events with Bruno over the years, and we've spent a lot of time in his restaurant celebrating special occasions for us. So we wanted to be here tonight just to support him, and I just wanted to share with Bruno just a, a little perspective about that morning. I've been doing this business for a long time. And it's probably been 25 or 30 years before I have, since I've seen the community come out the way they've come out for Bruno. I mean, by the time we got back, got the fire out, and we, we went back that morning, there were just hundreds of people that were there in support of him. And I think that's reflective of everything that he's given to this community and, and the, the, the deep uh, love that people have for him and everything that he's done. So. Bruno, I know it's been a really a tragic incident, but you're going to come out better and stronger than you were before. And I think as evidence tonight of all the people that are showing up, just how many lives you've touched, not only in the city of Anaheim, but throughout Orange County. So on behalf of Susan and I, just want to thank you for the person that you are, and thanks for what you do for the kids each and every day. I was there at uh, 7 in the morning, offered him my kitchen. He fed the kids for a week from here, and uh, this has happened in two weeks. So Golden Rule did an incredible job, and we put it together, and here we are tonight. So enjoy. Um, so yes, we put this together in two weeks. Uh, we put a call to action out there to the culinary environment and the chefs and the restaurants and volunteers. We got raffle items, we got silent auction items, and they rallied and they came together and made it happen. It was really, really incredible how quickly people responded. I'm emceeing tonight to auction off some items and to help raise some money. And I, I think the, probably the most important thing I can say about this event was how the outpour of love from the community, from everyone, from chefs to restaurant owners to business owners across the board and, and of course the public that's coming. I think there's almost 400 tickets sold for tonight. Lots of auction items and everyone is wonderful and generous and I'm just really, really proud to be part of this tonight. So, yeah. How long have you known Oh, I've known Bruno almost 30, 32 years. Yeah. We, actually, we opened our restaurant at the same time. Oh, really? Yeah. No, 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 no. We're just comrades, you know. We're just friends. We're good friends. We talk to each other a lot. And uh, he had just started his business, and I had started mine. We were so involved in our businesses that whenever we see each other, we just share a lot of information, and it's fun. Yeah. When you heard that the fire happened. I heard. What was your first reaction? My first reaction, I had tears in my eyes. I go, oh my God, that can't be true. Please be not true. And it was true. It was very, very emotional because, you know, it could happen to anybody. It was a very sad situation and things happen, but who would think? Who would ever think? I know. Because so much love and so much uh, Passion has been in that restaurant, you know, it's just all gone. Memories, lots of memories. And that's what bothers me the most. It's always the restaurants that rescue people. It's because we are passionate people, it's all from love. I said, Bruno, everything's gonna be okay. I don't want you to worry about anything. God is great, you got a lot of supporters. We're all here for you. You know where we are. Love you so much. I'm gonna be emotional now. Um, yeah, it was that day where Bruno hired me to do some decoration inside the house and um, and he told me, do it like it's yours. And it was very sad to see the hotels burning. 
really break my heart and I'm here Bruno to support you and if anything you need I'm here for you any way we can to help Bruno get through this uh, couple of trying weeks he's been so great for the community it's easy to show up for Bruno I used to sit on the board for the Boys and Girls Club so I had first-hand experience of what Bruno feeding the children really meant and so to see that on a daily basis uh, instantaneously makes you feel connected to Bruno and through that organization had a chance to meet Bruno on several occasions um, happened to be in the hotel business so Bruno's been in our hotel um, as we've done some fundraising events together as well I think the consistency with Bruno is whenever you're around Bruno it's like taking a human shot of adrenaline he just makes you feel great all the time God sent Angel and I'm so glad that we're giving the opportunity to give back to him and the organization also um, to help support the people who work for him Oh, don't make me cry now. I'm going to be crying now for that sleep. Okay. <laughs> you know, in life, sometimes you forget to say the easiest word. There's only one, which is say, thank you. Sometimes we take fatigue for granted. Maybe forget to say thank you. Or down. <laughs> yeah, it's been tough. Yeah, I cry a lot. I feel like somebody killed part of me, which was 30 years of my blood and my soul. When they call me at 4 o'clock in the morning, I thought it was a joke. When I drove on the 22 freeway, I thought it was a joke. When I get off Alcatella and cross Catella and make a right turn on Anaheim Boulevard, I was still hope it was a joke. When I saw the brave fireman, truck, and police officer with all the red light, it was not a party, it was a smoke on the building. And when I saw Fire Chief Randy, Look at me on his face. I knew that it was bad. I didn't have the question. And when he looked at me and he said, Bruno, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I realized it was bad. And it was not until late afternoon that when I was able to go inside, and I realized how really bad it was. Before I did that, I shake my hand to every fireman, which sometimes, you know, we forget even to say thanks to them. But I went to every single one to say thank you. I was crying, I said thank you, thank you. They were trying to put down a fire that was destroyed 30 years of my entire life. And when I went inside and everything was destroyed, it was devastating. But when I find a cross that was given to me by Pope Francis six months ago, I say, you are my God, you're the one who suffer for the humanity a million times more than I do. I mean, this is nothing of what you suffer for humanity. But the power of love that I received through my Facebook, email, telephone was overwhelming, but a thousand. Tonight, being here and look at all of you, that is camaraderie, love, inspiration. I just want to thank you, every single of you. Chef, restaurateur, I hope I shake your hand to all of you because. When you see, when you see all the chefs, you know, forget the competition because you know, we are guys and girls who work in 18 hours a day. We don't know what 9 to 5 is. The chefs work in 15 hours a day. We know how much we put. They all think we are rich. We are not. We just work our ass off. That's what we do, you know. Golden Rule has decided to put this event with Highway 39. Highway 39 after two hours I was on fire, I was worried about the kids. Well, I have the key, I have a kitchen, can you use it? I said, thank you for Katerina's club. Golden Rule said, can we do something for your employee? Because my second priority was my people. Thank you, Golden Rule, for doing that. I mean, honestly, that is what... 
A thanks to all of you, I mean, chefs out there, Golden Rule, Highway 39, and every single person who came here tonight represent the love in each other. Remember, love will always prevail against evil. Let's say all together, love will always prevail against evil. Love will always prevail against evil. Love you all!